Welcome back, Brightians. So in the last session, we talked about uh, monitoring, right? And we saw a basic features about monitoring, right? Are we still convinced? I mean, is that enough for uh, for for the infrastructure which we are going to move into Azure, or is this something which we'll have to again invest on in some other things to make sure our resources are monitored properly, right? In Azure, well. Uh, Azure does have a lot of, uh, I mean, it can collect a lot of uh, from the various resources, from the various channels. And then it has uh, the, uh, it can analyze the data uh, and then it can actually provide uh, the uh, the actions that we can actually give or perform on those logs, right? So logs can be of two parts, types, as we have seen in the last session. It can be in the telemetry for format where it's all going to be in numbers or it can be in the log format where it's going to be all event uh, or I mean it, it's going to be more of a text format right so we are going to and then based on those events the the logs are getting uh, the data is actually getting analyzed and other corrective actions can be triggered right it can not only monitor resources which are in Azure it can monitor resources uh, which are on-prem also it can monitor resources which are on other clouds so how cool is it, isn't it? But I mean, yeah. And also, uh, can we are going to look on this session? Is it like only limited to monitoring, uh, monitoring the data or resources which are on the virtual machine? What about the resources? Uh, been, what about the applications? Does it have does it have any tool to monitor the application? Does it have any tool to monitor uh, the resources which are in container? I mean, does it have uh, anything that we can uh, monitor with the uh, which for the resources that are on AKS well all those things we are going to look in detail on this session right now before we move on to the session I would uh, request you to click on the subscribe icon and hit on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever the new videos are getting uploaded right also feel free to share this video with your friends and colleagues is because this knowledge should be shared uh, among all your friends and should be free of cost and cloud coming as an emerging technology for 2021 and uh, for quite a few years to come everyone should have some knowledge on cloud right great thank you i'll see you in the session Welcome back to ITs. So in this session, we are going to deep dive on Azure Monitor. Yeah, as we have seen in the earlier sessions, Azure Monitor provides uh, collecting, analyzing, and acting on the telemetry data that has been collected from the Azure uh, resources as well as the resources which are at on-premises, isn't it? Now, let's talk about uh, the few of the other. Uh, details that uh, Azure Monitor can help uh, provide and what are the tools that it uses internally together uh, to, to do all these functions of collecting and analyzing and working on the elementary yeah okay so so Azure Monitor maximizes the availability and performance of your application and services by delivering a comprehensive solution for collecting analyzing and acting on telemetry from your on cloud and on-prem environment. It helps you understand how your applications are performing and proactively identifies issuing affecting them and the resources they depend on. Yeah, just an example, uh, here's a list. Detect and diagnose issues across applications and dependencies with application insights, yeah. Now this is one of the important tool that uh, actually it uses for, uh, for the application related alerts, yeah. Correlated infrastructure issues with Azure Monitor for VMs and Azure Monitor for containers. Yeah, as as the name uh, implies, uh, it's actually for uh, for the virtual machines and for the containers. Right. Drill into your monitoring data with log analytics for troubleshooting and deep diagnosis. Support operations at scale with smart alerts and automated actions. Create virtualizations and Azure Data dashboards 
and workloads yeah so let's go into the overview i mean so as you can see i mean these are the uh, this is one of the dashboard uh, which uh, we had seen in the earlier sessions uh, this is the the i mean the data which from which actually it uh, comes for to the Azure monitor and Azure monitor can keep it in two formats either in the telemetry or in the log format and then it actually uh, uses the tool in the back end to analyze that data and that's how we can uh, if we would actually uh, be acting on that data based on the alerts and auto scale yeah so these are all the things we are going to look at in this session okay uh, so on the left on the side are the sources for monitoring data that populates these data sources and on the right hand side are the uh, functions that Azure Monitor performs with the collected data such as analytics, alerting uh, and streaming to external system. Yeah. So, so let's talk about uh, the data platform, monitoring data platform. Yeah, so all data collected by Azure Monitor fits into one of the two fundamental types. Either it could be metrics uh, or in the logs. Metrics are nu numerical values that describe some aspect of a system at a particular point in time. They are lightweight and capable of supporting near real-time scenarios. Logs can contain different kinds of data organized into records with different sets of properties for each type. Telemetry such as events and traces are stored as logs in addition to performance data so that it can be combined for analysis. And for many Azure resources, you will find uh, data collected by Azure Monitor right in the overview page of the Azure portal, right on, on, right on the, uh, I mean, when, when you have the resources, you will find that overview, right? Uh, on that particular page only, uh, if in the bottom section of that particular page, you will find uh, this sort of, uh, a, I mean, basic uh, sort of a dashboard, right? So log data collected by Azure Monitor can be analyzed by queries to quickly retrieve, consolidate and analyze collected data. You can create and test queries using log analytics in the Azure portal and then either directly analyze the data using different tools or save queries for use with visualization or other tools. Azure Monitor uses a version of the Questo query language used by the Azure Data Explorer that it is suitable for simple log queries but also includes advanced functions such as aggregations joins and smart analytics yeah you can quickly learn the query language using multiple sessions particular guidance is provided to users who are already familiar with SQL and Splunk now what data does Azure monitor collect yeah not all the data right I mean it's only specific data that is useful for monitoring well, Azure Monitor can collect data from a variety of sources. You can think of monitoring data for your applications in tiers ranging from applications, any operating systems, and services it relies on, down to the platform itself. Azure Monitor collects data from each of the following tiers. Application monitoring data, uh, that is the data about the performance and functionality of the code you have written, regardless of its platform guest OS monitoring data, data about the operating system on which your application is running. This could be running on Azure, another cloud or on-prem. Azure resource monitoring data is about the data about the operation of an Azure resource. And Azure subscription monitoring data. Now that data is about the operations and management of an Azure subscription as well as data about the health and operations of Azure itself. Azure tenant monitoring data, data about the operations of a tenant level Azure services such as Azure directory. Yeah. So these are the data which actually uh, are getting monitored. And this is something which is there on the left hand side of the uh, uh, monitoring. Uh, yeah. These are the things that actually it uh, captures. So as soon as you create an Azure subscription and start adding resources such as virtual machines or web apps, Azure Monitor starts collecting data. Activity logs record when resources are created or modified. Metrics tells you how the resource is performing and the resource that it is consuming. 
you can extend your data that you're collecting in the actual operating of the resources by enabling diagnostics and adding an agent to complete resource. This will collect telemetry for the internal operations of the resource and allows you to create different data sources to co collect logs and metrics from Windows and Linux operating systems. You can enable monitoring for uh, app service applications or VMs and virtual machine skill sets for applications to enable applications inside to collect detailed information about your application, including page views, application requests, and exceptions. Further view, verify the applicability of your applications by configuring an availability test to simulate your traffic. Now, there, are, there is one more source that actually data is collected, that is a custom source. So Azure Monitor can collect log data from any REST client, REST API. It uses the REST API to collect the data using the data collector API. This allows you to create custom monitoring scenarios and extend monitoring to resources that don't expose telemetry through other sources. Now let's talk about insights. Yeah, those are uh, I mean those are the things that uh, Azure Monitor uses to provide uh, your uh, dashboard. All right. So monitoring data is only useful if it can increase your visibility into the operations of your computing environment. Azure Monitor includes several features and tools that provide valuable insights into your applications and other resources that they depend on. Monitoring solutions and features such as applications insights and App Azure Monitor for containers provide deep insights into different aspects of your application and specific Azure services. Well, it has application insights that helps in monitoring the availability, performance, and usage of web applications, whether they're hosted in cloud or on-premises. It leverages the powerful data analysis platform in Azure Monitor to provide you with deep insights into your applications, operations, and diagnose errors without waiting for a user to report them. Application insights include connection points to a variety of development tools and integrates with Visual Studio to support your DevOps processes. Yeah. Now, we do have a monitor for containers, right? I mean, so Azure monitor for containers, it is designed to monitor the performance of container workloads deployed to manage Kubernetes cluster hosted on Kubernetes cluster uh, Kubernetes service, right? Azure Kubernetes service. It gives you performance visibility by collecting memory and process metrics from controllers, nodes, and containers that are available in Kubernetes through the metrics API. Container logs are also collected. After you enable monitoring from Kubernetes cluster, these metrics and logs are automatically collected for you through a containerized version of the log analytics agent for Linux. Right? Now, uh, let's talk about Azure Monitor for virtual machines. We have, we have just spoke about Azure Monitor for containers. Now, let's talk about Azure Monitor for VMs. Well, Azure Monitor for VMs monitors your Azure virtual machines at scale by analyzing the performance and health of your virtual machines, uh, be it Windows or Linux, including their different processes and interconnected dependency on other resources and external processes. The solution includes support for monitoring performance and application dependencies for VMs hosted on premises or another cloud provider. It doesn't only do it on Azure, but all, everywhere, right? Wherever, wherever your resources are located. Yeah, so let's talk about the monitoring solution. So monitoring solution in Azure are package set of logic that provide insights for a particular application or service. They include logic for collecting monitoring data for the application or service queries to analyze the data and views for visualization monitoring. Solutions are available from Microsoft and partners to provide monitoring of various Azure services and other applications. Now, monitoring is uh, good enough, right? But uh, you would actually need uh, this thing to be, to either get, a, you should be getting notified about it or there should be an automated process which will automatically resolve the issue, right? So how are you going to respond to the critical situation? 
Yeah. So there are two ways. I mean, one is the one you can get alerts, right? Now, alerts in Azure Monitor proactively notify you of critical conditions and potentially attempt to take corrective actions. Alert rule based on metrics provided near real time alerting based on numeric values, which while rule based on logs allow for complex logic across data for multiple sources. Alert rules in Azure Monitor use action groups which contain unique sets to recipients and actions that can be shared across multiple rules. Based on your requirement, action groups can perform such actions as using webhooks to have alerts, start external uh, actions, or to integrate with ISM2. Now, there is one more uh, action that you can take based on the alert, that is auto-scale. Now, auto-scale allows you to have the right amount of resources running to handle the load on your application. It allows you to create rules that use metrics collected by Azure Monitor to determine when to automatically add resources to handle uh, increase in load and also save money by removing resources that are sitting idle. So it actually does this uh, scaling automatically. Yeah. You specify a minimum and maximum number of instances and the logic where to increase or decrease resources. Now you can, uh, you can, how you're going to get this data? I mean, you would need a dashboard, right? So Azure dashboard allows you to combine different kinds of data, including both metrics, uh, be it telemetric or uh, log, uh, into a single pane in Azure portal. You can optionally share the dashboard with other Azure users. Elements throughout Azure Monitor can be added to Azure dashboard in addition to the output of any log query or metric chart. For example, you could create a dashboard that combines tiles that show a graph of metric, a table of activity logs, a ZUGIS chart from application insights and the output of a log query. And you can actually use a views to visually present log data in Azure Monitor. Uh, and also you can use BI uh, uh, in a business analysis uh, uh, to provide interactive visualization across a variety of data sources and is an effective means of making data value uh, data available to others within or inside or outside of the organization you can integrate and export the data as you require and then share it with your uh, with whomsoever you want to or you can actually keep it uh, for your uh, reference for your uh, i mean uh, whenever you need that so with Azure Monitor, you can have uh, Azure Event Hubs. Uh, Azure Event Hubs is a streaming platform and event ingestion service that can transform and store data using an, any real-time analytics uh, provider or batching storage uh, adapters. You can use Event Hubs to stream Azure Monitor data to partner SIEM and monitor tools. Yeah. And Logic Apps. Logic Apps is a service that allows you to automate tasks and business processes using workflows to integrate with different systems and services. It has activities are available that uh, read and write metrics and logs in Azure Monitor, which allows you to build workflow integration with a variety of open systems. And then you can have multiple APIs uh, to read and write metrics and logs to and from Azure Monitor. In addition to accessing generating logs, you can also configure and retrieve alerts. This provides you with essentially unlimited possibilities to build custom solutions to integrate with Azure Monitor. Yeah, that's all we have for this session, guys. Uh, please feel free to share this uh, data with your friends and colleagues. And if you're enjoying this video, please do feel free to give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to click on the subscribe icon uh, of this video great uh, i hope you enjoyed this uh, and uh, until next time keep watching and keep learning thank you